yeah let's go ahead and break it down so let's go back to the start here so we got the rating of course um let's go ahead and play a bit play it a bit let's go ahead and actually how do we slow it down here let's slow it down just a tad bit not too much so we got like what seems to be some sort of cinematic here i'd love to say this is campaign dlc but it's not it's most likely gonna be uh i think the little cinematic we get when we look at the battle pass or something or whatever it's a cinematic, I think, for Season 2. Just like in Season 1, how we had that one cinematic little intro thing. I think it's going to be that. Although, it's kind of weird because the last one was, like, uh, what's it called? Like, pre-rendered? And this one's, like, like in-game. So, it's kind of weird. Uh, I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe it could be part of the story-themed events that they were uh, talking about. I don't know, to be honest. And then, so, we got some gameplay um, on the new map. And as you can see, we can see kind of like the new armor pieces. We've got like this weird like net shoulder thing. It has like a net on it. Because um, it is based on like hunters and stuff, right? So and we got like some kind of industrial helmet. I don't know. It kind of looks like... Uh, actually, you know what? This might be the fractured armor core. Um, we got more armor pieces. This one's really cool. It has an elite head. That looks really sweet. Um, this kind of looks like that scout trooper from Star Wars. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll throw like an image up so you can see what I mean. But it kind of looks like that, which is funny. Um, and then as you can see here, we actually got like a base maybe, possibly. A base, maybe like a crashed ship here. Uh, we got like camouflage and like repulsor or something there. Join the hunt. Alright, so here we go on the arena map. So... The arena map looks pretty nice. It's basically like a forerunner map that has like some kind of like fo foliage or how do you say it? it? Has like you know like grass, jungle stuff on it. I think it's like foliage or something like that. I think that's the proper term. Um, anyways, yeah, we got like more armor pieces as you can see here. Uh, yeah, it looks like part of the fracture core. Then we got another helmet here. We can see like some new coatings here. Um, and a new skin, possibly? No, that's not a skin. That's a shoulder pad. Um, yeah, we got another helmet here. Um, this one, I don't know. Might be an entirely new helmet. I don't really recognize that one. The Warhog. Okay, now here's where it gets interesting. Because when I watched this, I thought it was King of the Hill. But if we take a closer look, you can see the red zone, right? Um, and look, once you kill this dude... But once this guy kills this dude, you can see the revive little orb kind of pop out. So I think what this is, is, um, let me go back a bit, let that play out. I think what this is, is, um, I think it's the last man standing mode. Um, and as you can see here, everyone's got like different weapons. So I don't know how that's going to work, but it's definitely the last man standing, uh, mode. Um, and then there is the, uh... What is that, like the trainer or whatever the heck it's called? The person that's in the academy. Uh, we got more footage of the Catalyst Arena map, which looks a lot better than I thought it would. Look at that. It kind of does give like Halo 3 vibes. It kind of looks like, uh, what's that one map called? I think it's called Construct. It reminds me of like Construct. Um, and look, we got like Sentinels flying in the background. I thought it was just going to be like some bland Forerunner map, but it does have some uniqueness to it. So I'm glad it definitely does look pretty unique. Um, and yeah, that's about it. It seems like maybe I missed something. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, let's see. Let's take a quick look here. It's got the hammer. Oh, we got a new helmet. It seems like possibly. That might be recon. I can't really tell. Um, and then yeah, we go over here. And then we could see some other stuff. This looks like the gun gear. Is it gun gear? Not gun gear. Uh, what's that? It's that one Reach helmet. What is it called? Not Gun Gear. Oh, what is it called? I don't remember what the name of the helmet is, but it's like that one that was in Reach that was like cut. Although they eventually added it to the Master Chief collection. But it looks like that helmet. Um, and it looks like over here we got like the, the Battle Pass guy. <laughs> the Battle Pass guy. <laughs> the guy that's like shown in the, uh, what's it called? The concept art basically like the main two characters or something that you're going to learn about it seems like it's these two guys 
and of course we get the date it comes out May 3rd it's a little cut off here but uh, yeah it comes out May 3rd so it's coming out pretty soon um, personally I think yeah it's exciting getting new stuff uh, but you know it's not much I think it's gonna be fun for a while but after like a few weeks maybe possibly a month and I don't know I think we're, we're gonna be kinda in the same state that we are now um, who knows maybe the events I think the events might be a lot more interesting now because apparently there's like some story themed events at least to like my knowledge so maybe the events will actually feel you know at least fun in a sense because I feel like season one had some pretty lacking events I didn't really enjoy them too much they were okay but they were like they were like super average but is it gonna fix the game not really um, I don't think until we get to season three is when we'll actually get, see some like significant like changes and stuff like that so with that being said let me know what you guys think um and yeah you know consider subscribing liking the video as it shows your support it really helps me out and i'll see you guys on the next one peace